Hey guys, it's Emma here. I've got the curiosity crate for July here, but before I uh, crack on into this, I just wanted to do a quick little bit about the comics I got from Comic Con a month, two months ago now. I finally got around to reading them uh, for a week off, and I just want to say a quick little bit about them. Uh, nothing much, not enough to do with his own video, but just want to say a quick bit about them. So the first one I read here is called Oh Death, and um, it's by uh, B Trotter and M Dugate, I think. Uh, Marie Dugate is the artist and Ben Trotter is the writer. Now I got all these all these signed. If you've seen the, the Comic Con video, you'll know I got them all signed. Now this one is just the first first ever issue. We just got the one, and it's basically by the looks of it. I mean, you can see the artwork here. It's basically black and white kind of pencil with some you know with some color with some accent, which is quite nice. I like that. Um, I usually don't like black and white, but if it has a bit of, you know, a little bit of colour in it to give it a bit of kick, then it catches your eye. I like that. Basically, it seems like it's kind of a, a bounty hunter kind of guy that works for the devil and collects, you know, the, the, the souls that um, people, you know, bargain, you know, make them rich and they'll give you their soul. He collects the souls. So as I say, it's only the first issue, so you can't really get too much into it and know quite what's going on, but I think it gives me enough of an idea to know that I'll probably get at least the second one and see where it goes. Quite like that one. And the other one I got, I, they actually had both issues, the first two issues, so I picked them both up, and they're, they're signed as well, and that's City of Lost Souls. And that was by um, James McCulloch, written by James McCulloch, and illustrated by Janine Van Musel. Now I think most of these are pretty local comics to me um, where I live so I'm not sure how readily available these will be but again this one I was really impressed with again it's a black and white kind of comic I don't think there's much if any um, colour apart from that you know the bit on the, on the front but the artwork in this I'm really impressed with I like it you know it's like one of those ones where you'll maybe want one of the, 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 the things as an actual print on your wall like some of the stuff's pretty cool <laughs> you know, so um, I like this and basically the story with this one is um, it's a, a guy, Matt, he's a, like a serial killer uh, he's killed all these people and then he's he's killed himself and this soul collector kind of guy gets him up and says you have to find the city of lost souls which is the title uh, find the city of lost souls and all the souls of your victims will be free of you um, but here's the catch no one's ever been able to find the city of lost souls so kind of like good luck um, and it seems like there's all these kind of creepy things out to get him as well so I think he's kind of in the first two issues kind of trying to f get together with the the victims because they were there they're in the place that he is as well and they'll try and work together so that they'll be free of him now as I say this one I actually have two issues of so I've kind of got a bit more the direction of where the story's going so I think I, do, I mean I'm into this one I think I'll probably get at least one or two more and see where that one goes as well so I was really impressed with City of Lost Souls I really like that one last one I got here was Wooden Heart again this one's signed as well just in the front here and it was written by uh, Dave McCluskey and artwork by Leo Saysays I think <laughs> um, now I wasn't as impressed with this one to be honest the storyline itself, the, the concept is alright, I mean it's kind of done, it's a, basically it switches between uh, two different time periods, the, I think it's 1812 and modern day, and it's, you know, a, a, in modern day it's a cop that's trying to figure out these murders, and in 1812 it was kind of the start of this happening, it's a, you know, a carnival comes to town and a gypsy curses you know, the, the, the cop who his descendant is this cop and it kind of, you, you can kind of tell where it's going. Um, as I say, the concept's all right, but it's just, it really um, kind of put me off that artwork is not great. <laughs> for, 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 my, for my opinion, the artwork is just kind of slightly childish cartoony. Um, when I get comic books I want the artwork to be like art as I say like I want to want these as prints on my wall whereas this isn't quite the same kind of <laughs> quality of artwork I mean it's fine for you know this comic and everything it tells that you know you can tell what's going on with the artwork it's not bad it's just not the kind of artwork that I'm into so there's that and the the writing itself seems a bit 
um, just not, just not quite for kind of adult. It's, it seems more childish, slightly, to be honest. It's a good story again, a good concept, but it's kind of that kind of thing that's been done already. And as I say, the artwork for me just kind of let down. So to be honest, this one I don't have to pick up anymore anyway because it was one story in the one comic. So that's that. But that was the, the ones from Comic Con. I've still got a couple I picked up the other week to, to read and I'll maybe do a little bit uh, of a video about, about those when I read them as well. But let's get back to the curiosity crate. <laughs> and wake up now, I'm, I'm going to open the box. <laughs> Right, here we go. So this is July's Curiosity Crate, and as you can see before I open it, this one isn't all damaged like the last one, if you saw my last video. Um, the box was totally bashed up. I wasn't very happy, but thankfully everything in it was perfectly fine, um, because as the postal service might be pretty crappy, the um, Curiosity Crate, the people at Curiosity Crate packed their stuff really well, everything was pretty much individually wrapped, and there was loads of, you know, packing stuff in the box to, to keep it from rattling about too much. So great, great for that. I, you know, I was really impressed with that, how the packers are stuff. So uh, as I say, the box isn't damaged. So I'm not too worried about the stuff inside. It should be fine. Let's get it open and have a look. And just bear with me because I had trouble getting into this box last time. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I've got some of the stuff out that I got from last time. So yeah, so I have high hopes. I was really impressed with, with the box for, for June. So I can't wait to get this one. I will get into it. I can't wait to get this one open and, and, and see what's inside. Here we go. Okay, so I think this is just the... Yeah, so this is just the, the thing I took out last time and I forgot to read out to you guys. So just welcome to your July Curiosity Crate. Packed full with seven hand-picked items that we're sure you're going to love. Um, oh, says, how would you like your next crate free of charge? So I got to recommend um, some friends and get them to sign up for Curiosity Crate. So I might do that. <laughs> and then you get your next free crate free of charge. So that's really cool. Um, but they have to sign up by the 27th of July. So yeah. Hey, I might do that. <laughs> if any of you are interested. Give me a shout in the comments below and we'll see if we can set something up. <laughs> so let's see, first item, oh this is quite a small thing, I'll take, well, thin thing, I'll take this out first, what's this? Oh, is it a card? Yeah, so this is a, it's a nice card, I saw it in one of the past boxes, so there was a card, so it's really pretty, um, although the problem is with these things, they're so pretty, I don't want to give them to anyone, <laughs> so we'll, we'll see, um, but yeah, it's just, it's blank inside for your message, so um, that's really pretty. I like that. It's a unicorn. It's pretty nice. Okay, next item. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let's just, just bear with me while I get rid of some of these packing things so I can have more access because I can't grab anything with that stuff in the way. There we go. Um, now what's this? Tiny fairy friends. Tiny fairy friends are gentle and dear, bringing magic and friendship when they appear. They need a place to call their own with a fairy door they can make their home. Once invited, their time will, they will spend protecting you, their new best friend. Oh God, <laughs> what is this? So, it looks like it's just a little That's still a little door. <laughs> I'm not even that sure. It doesn't have like a like a thing to hang up or anything, so I'm not sure what exactly this is for. It just sits maybe against something. I'm not sure. Um, that's cute. Um, I might give that to someone. I'm not sure, but it is cute. It's cute. So here we go. What's next? Ooh. <laughs> Making a mess. Uh, oh, cool. So it's like a, a witch's hat and a owl, but it's got like a hole at the bottom and a hole in the side, so I'm not sure if, and a hole in the top, so I'm not sure if it's, if you see that there, I'm not sure if it's like for like a candle or an incense kind of thing maybe, there may be something else in there to uh, clue me into what that's for, but that's cute, 
It doesn't have like a, a brand name on it or anything either, so. But that's cute, I like that. That's, even if I don't do anything with it, I'll just sit it on my shelf. That's cute. What's this? Oh, is this the... Ah, okay. So, for, um, they must have not been able to fit everything in the box. They put the box for that hat in this box. Just fold it up. So, it's designed by Lisa Parker. And I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah. So, it's an incense burner. So, I was right. It's an incense burner. Uh, which is hat incense burner. And we could have got... We got the owl one. But we could have got a mouse one, which is cute. Or a... Uh, cat one or can you see that a cat one or a frog one so i like the owl it's cute i wouldn't have minded the mouse either because it's got a purple uh, rim for the hat or obviously the cat uh well it's a pink but the cat's got purple as well so that's cool but i like the owl one it's cute it's cute right what's next mm -hmm. call siren Okay, so there's another little tiny fairy friends thing here. Uh, here's something you might like to know. There are fairies looking for a home with a little key and a fairy door. You can give them what they wish for. So does this go with the door then? Spirit of Equinox. So again, just a little ornament or something, a little house. So again, it's cute, but I don't know. Might find a new home for that one. Again, I, I'm not a big fan of yellow either, so. <laughs> right, what's next? Ah, stand. Oh, is that for the hat? That must be for the hat. I'll have to clear off all the all the Paul Siren, of course. But yeah, that must be the hat, so it'll be like cone incense. I've got some of them actually, because I have a, a a dragon over there that you put the incense, the cone incense in underneath, and then obviously the smoke comes out of his nose and his mouth. So cool. <laughs> is there anything else in here? There must be something else in here, is there? Yes. So is this But yeah, so this is incense cones. Uh Citronella. Remote Provokes thoughts of the outside with freshness and a sweet smelling fragrance. It is also effective as an insect repellent. Well, that's good to know. Let's see. I can smell them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> smells nice though, so that's cool. Anything else in here? Oh, oh something big at the bottom. Oh, is this a picture? Ooh, picture of a cat <laughs> with a Ouija board. That's cute. And it's got like the, it's framed and it's got the things to, in the bottom, the back here to hang up with. So that's cute, let me see it. It's cute, cute. I like that. How many have we got so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. is that it? Is there anything else? Is it a magnet? Oh, cute. I like that as well. So it's a wolf magnet and it's got, it's blue, it's one of my favourite colours, so that's cool. There we go. I think. More ball sign, I think that's everything in the box. Don't want to pour them all out like I did last time because it took me a while to clean them all up. <laughs> but yeah, that looks like it is it. That's it, that's all that's in the box. So, there you have it, July's Curiosity Crate. Not as chuffed with this one as I was with the last one. I thought pretty much every single item in the last one I loved, whereas in this one, um, I don't think there's actually any item that I'm absolutely over the moon with, but some of them I like. So, there we go, I'll keep it going. I'll definitely get next month's one as well. I'll probably keep it going until October, because I'd love to see what they're doing for Halloween and I'll get uh, I think I'll get a few boxes um, from different places for for a Halloween one and I'll maybe do like a quite a few box unboxing videos that, that month in October 
but for this month, mm, not so not so keen. But I'll keep it going next month, and um, we'll we'll see what we get then. So um, let me know what you thought. Uh, any comments? Leave them down below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.